all right my dear students the last part in depreciation that we needs to cover is how to make financial statement extracts financial statements include an income statement or a statement of financial position so these are financial statements now financial statements or income statement or sofp extract what does an extract mean extract means we do not need to make a complete income statement instead we are just going to make that part of income statement that contains entries relating to non current assets and their depreciation okay so before watching this video you must go through all of the previous lessons relating to depreciation that is how to calculate a depreciation how to make a general entries or ledger accounts t accounts for a cost or maybe provision or disposal and this is basically the last lesson of the topic depreciation so we are going to make a uh, learn how to make uh, income statement extract we are actually doing this fourth and the last part income statement and balance sheet extract now as you may be aware that if you have uh, made i'm sure you have made a uh, income statement previously as the requirement is for four years that is 2013 14 15 and 16 now as you can see in this question uh, we need to make income statement and balance sheet extract for three uh, four years basically 13 14 and 15 and 16 so what we need to do we need to make four separate columns for each year 13 14 15 16 now uh, if you have made income statement previously you must know that income statement basically starts with sales or revenue then there is a return inward then there is a cost of sales uh, if we did a uh, cost of sale from the net sales value we get gross profit so here we are going to start with the gross profit because before gross profit there comes sales or cost of sales so we do not require sales or cost of sales in this topic we are just concerned with depreciation now as you may be aware that depreciation is an expense and all expenses or maybe other incomes come after gross profit so we are going to start with gross profit whenever we need to make an income statement extract okay especially this topic that is depreciation so gross profit is not given in such type of questions normally so therefore we are going to write an x in front of all of the years that are required in the exam so whatever gross profit it is we do not need to worry about the actual amount of gross profit we are going to start with this value then we need to add other income in other income uh, there comes many things such as rent receive or rent receivable commission receive or discount receive but in this question we are not concerned with any other incomes we are just concerned with incomes relating to non current asset okay so in this case we there is there can be only one thing and that is gain on disposal also known as profit on disposal okay we learned uh, yesterday in the previous lesson that whenever we sell a non current asset and uh, if we sell it for more than its book value then it's a gain on disposal okay so beta whenever there is a gain on disposal we need to write it in the heading of other income after gross profit then comes the expenses in an expense part there can be only two expenses at here uh, although there can be many expenses rent electricity and uh, whatever insurance but in this case we are just concerned with one expense that is depreciation expense okay so the depreciation would be an expense and the opposite of gain on disposal would be loss on disposal okay whenever we have sold the asset for less than its book value then it's a loss on disposal okay so we are going to start with depreciation now in this question you may be aware that we already learned how to calculate depreciation okay in the first year we have one machine uh, worth 1 lakh so we charge depreciation 15 percent that is 15,000 in the second year we had the previous machine as well for 1 lakh and we have bought two new machines as well for 70,000 and then the second year we charge depreciation 15 percent of 170 this gave us the answer 25,500 in the third year as you may be aware that we haven't bought neither sold any uh, machine so therefore the depreciation in straight line remains the same unless we buy an asset and then unless we sell an asset and in the last year as you can see we have sold one of the machines that worth that was worth one lakh and uh, we are only left with the 70,000 machines in this case in the last year we are going to charge 15% depreciation 
so these four boxes are the total depreciation for each year so we need to charge these depreciation directly to where in an expense okay so just going to forward this and we need to focus on the income statement extract we need to charge depreciation as you can see first year 15,000 second year 25,500 third year would be the same because there was no addition or disposal of an asset and in the last year there was a disposal and then we are left with only this depreciation and loss on disposal so we have already learned how to calculate gain and loss and we have already calculated gain or loss okay so uh, let me give you a quick recap recap we bought an asset for one lakh and we used it for three years and we charge equal depreciation three years using straight line so the total depreciation was 45,000 and if we deduct a uh, total depreciation accumulated depreciation from the original cost then there is a book value and if we are selling it for less than book value in this case here is the loss and if instead we have sell it for sold it for more than book value that is maybe 60,000 then it would be a 5,000 gain okay so if there is a gain the gain needs to be recorded in other income and if there is a loss, the loss needs to be recorded in uh, expenses, okay? And as we have sold the asset in 2016, then uh, I'm going to write the loss in 2016. So there are basically four columns here. And if we are just making a single year income statement, we do not need to put these separate columns, okay? So after income statement, there comes SOFP, Statement of Financial Position Extract. The earlier name for Statement of Financial Position was Balance Sheet as written in the question now in a statement of financial position basically there are three uh, main headings one is asset then uh, there is a capital and there is a liability now as you may be aware that this machine is an asset and it is a non-current asset so therefore we are going to put the heading of non-current asset now as there are four years we are making four separate columns for that first of all we have machine uh, on cost so we are going to start with the machine uh, cost of the machine and then from the cost we need to minus the total depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation or provision for depreciation okay and if we deduct the total depreciation from the original cost then we are left with a value that is nbv net book value okay let us see in the question in the first year we had only one machine we have bought a new machine worth one lakh okay so the first year machine would be one lakh balance cd the second year we have also bought two new machines from honda worth 35000 each so 2 multiplied by 35 would become 70 and the original uh, the old machine was worth 1 lakh so 1 lakh plus 70 the total would become 170 now as you can see in 2015 we haven't bought any machine or sold some new old machines so the, then the uh, value would be remains the same the cost would remain the same basically 170 and in the last year that is 2016 we have sold one of the machine that has originally costed us 1 lakh so instead of deducting 40,000 I, I am going to deduct this original cost that is 1 lakh so if I deduct once uh, 1 lakh from this uh, 170 I am left with the book value that is 70,000 okay so these are the cost of the machines each year and then what is accumulated depreciation as you can see but in the first year uh, in an income statement we always charge depreciation for this year and in an SOFP balance sheet we are going to add up all of the depreciations okay accumulated depreciation is the total depreciation till date now as you can see uh, 2013 is the first year we do not have any earlier depreciation because this is the year uh, in which we have started the business the first year we have depreciation 15,000 so the total would also be a uh, 15,000 in the second year as you can see we had 15,000 in the first year and 25,500 in the second year what we need to do we need to add up both of these if we add up both of these the total depreciation would be 40,500 now in the third year as you can see we are already we have reached till 40,500 and we need to add third year depreciation as well 40,500 plus 25,500 then the total depreciation would be 66,000 okay so in the last year, if I add up 66 plus 10,500, 66 plus 10,500, this means the total depreciation for all four years, it would be 31,500, 31,500, okay? So cost minus accumulated depreciation, then it would be a net book value. Cost minus accumulated, it would be a net book value. 
and this is the value remaining in our books if we have charged total depreciation till date. So I hope you understood how to make an income statement extract and an SOFP extract. Already students in a question number two that with the name of Steve Ross, uh, there is an extract already given and this is a balance sheet extract also known as statement of financial position extract for 2011. And what we need to do in this question, we need to make an another extract that is for the next year that is 2012. Okay, so this is the extract that we are going to make for the next year. First year we have already given and we need to make an extract for the second year. Now let us see how can we make extract for the 2012 year with the help of the 2011. Okay, so previously we had equipment for how much? In the last year, my dear students, we have equipment worth 60,000. So this will be the opening balance that is, uh, I'm just doing the rough workings here. We had uh, equipment worth 60,000 in the previous year. Now let us see in node one, have we bought or sold any equipment? Yes. In node one, as you can see, the equipment that was purchased in 2009 at the original cost of 28,000 was sold this year. So whenever we are selling the asset, well, then this asset needs to be removed from our, our accounts. Okay. So the 60,000 is basically cost. So from cost account, we are actually uh, going to deduct the original cost of the asset that we have disposed of and the original cost was 28,000. So what we need to do, we need to deduct the asset that were originally cost the business 28,000 and have we bought any new equipment? Yes, as you can see, note two, we have bought a new equipment worth 35. Okay, so we are going to add the new asset and we are going to subtract the old asset in order to get the updated value that is balance CD. So this is the balance carried down and we also use it in a T account when we are making a cost account. So this is the balance CD that we are going to write here. And what about the office computers? As you can see, we have computers that originally cost us 8,000. So this would be a balance BD at the start of the year. So have we bought or sold any computers in note number three, as you can see, we have bought new computers and we haven't sold any old ones. Okay, we just need to add up this for 600. So the total would be 8600. Now, what about the accumulated depreciation? Now, the accumulated depreciation for equipment not need to be calculated because we are already done uh, making a provision for depreciation account. Now, how did I make this provision account? Uh, I have already uh, made a video for that, that how to make a provision for depreciation account. So this was basically the balance BD that is the previous year depreciation. This year I have charged this month depreciation 13,400. This is the working for that. I, we have already learned how to do this. Now the asset that we have sold off. So we need to deduct the total depreciation till date and the balance that we are left with is balance CD. So this balance CD or this balance BD, this would be recorded in a statement of financial position. Okay. So the 20,600 would be the total provision this year that is balance CD 20,600 we already learned uh, uh, calculated this figure from the T account now let us see about office computer now as, uh, as we, uh, we haven't made a provision account for office computer so therefore we need to calculate the total provision now now how can we calculate accumulated depreciation now the starting point would be the last year as you can see the last year we have office computers uh, the provision for depreciation was 5600. Okay, so this is the balance BD basically opening balance. Now this year whenever we charge depreciation this year, the entry is income statement is going to be debited and the provision account needs to be credited means the provision would increase. Now let us uh, learn how to calculate depreciation for this year. Now as you can see in this year accumulated depreciation. In this year, uh, we are charging depreciation on computers. That is 25%. We are charging depreciation 25% reducing balance method. Okay. So this year we are going to charge depreciation. Now, uh, as you can see, it's a reducing balance method, diminishing balance method. In a diminishing balance method, we need to charge depreciation on what? We need to charge depreciation on the book value. Now the book value that we do have last year is 2400. So if instead we haven't bought any new asset, we are going to apply 25% on this old value that is 2400. 
but in this case as you can see we have also bought a new computer worth 600 so what we need to do uh, the previous computer was now worth 2400 and the new computer that we have bought is for 600 what we need to do we need to charge depreciation on 3000 uh, total amount that is 25 percent so if i apply 25 percent of the 3000 the depreciation would be 750 now what i need to do i need to add both of these in order to get the total depreciation that is 6350 6350 okay so this would be a balance cd now in an income statement my dear students we charge depreciation for this year but in a statement of financial position there is a total depreciation okay if i deduct accumulated depreciation from the original cost i'll be left with net book value nbv net book value all right there is one another question and we are practicing how to prepare income statement and sofp extract statement of financial position extract now in this question with the name of amai question number five uh, year is ending on 30th april and depreciation policy is given for machinery we have 25 percent diminishing and for furniture we have 10 percent straight line now uh, as you can see at the start of the year we have these values uh, we have two assets basically one is machinery and one is office furniture although there is one more asset and we can also uh, go through this afterwards and then we have provision for depreciation for machinery and office furniture we have provision for depreciation as well now the thing that we are interested in is we need to first calculate gain or loss in part d we have already did that and and now we need to make uh, calculate the nbvs of machinery and furniture that is at the end of the year now how to calculate net book value my dear students so first of all the starting point would be the cost and if we deduct the total depreciation from the cost then we are left with uh, net book value now let us see how much uh, machinery we have at the start of the year as you can see in note one at the start of the year we had machinery of eighty thousand. Now, have we bought any new machinery in this year? As you can see, note number two, we have bought additional machinery for 18,000. So what will happen if we have bought some new machinery, we need to add this. So the total machinery that we do have is 98,000. So in a, a statement of financial position at the end of the year, uh, we have 98,000 worth of machinery. Now, what is the total depreciation till date? Now, as you can see, uh, the total provision for the last year, that is, start of this year is already given that is 60,000 now the total depreciation that we do have is 60,000 for the previous year now this year we are going to add this depreciation now how have we calculated this year depreciation we have already learned that how to calculate this now let me give you a quick re recap uh, beta in the last year we had 80,000 worth of machinery that, that was the original cost and as it is a reducing balance method we need to deduct the previous 60,000 okay so 80 minus 60 this becomes 20,000 okay so the original machines that we bought for 80,000 were depreciated by how much by 60,000 and the net book value that uh, is left is only 20,000 so if we haven't bought any new machines we need to charge depreciation on 20,000 this year that is 25 percent but now as you can see we have uh, we have also bought some new machines worth 18,000 so the old machine book value is now 20 and the new machine is for 18 now the total would be 38 and for 38000 we need to apply 25 percent that is 9500 okay so the depreciation for this year would be 9500 now the total provision previous year was 60 and this year we have charged further depreciation of 9500 so this becomes the total depreciation of 69500 and if i deduct 69500 from from the cost then the book value that we do have is 28500 yes we repeat this uh, again for the next part that is next asset that is office furniture now as you can see how much furniture that we do have at the start of the year at the start of the year we had uh, 15000 furniture okay so the original cost was 15000 now have we bought any new furniture uh, we haven't bought any new furniture but instead we have sold some old furniture okay uh, on 28th february furniture which had cost 1000 on 1st may 2008 was sold for 550 okay so if we have sold the asset we need to deduct uh, the value 
okay if we are working in the cost account we are not going to uh, minus the the disposal proceeds instead we are going to deduct the original cost of the asset okay so the original cost of the asset was 1000 okay now out of the 15000 uh, furniture we have sold one of the furniture maybe one of the chair uh, that uh, originally cost us 1000 okay so at the end of the year we are left with 14000 furniture then then what about the accumulated depreciation as you can see at the start of the year beta we have provision for depreciation of 5000 and this is for uh, furniture okay so if we uh, have we charged any further depreciation this year yes we have charged depreciation of 1400 now what is the policy for charging depreciation here for furniture for furniture we have a policy of 10 percent straight line okay for furniture we have a policy of 10 percent straight line so what we need to do with uh, uh we have 15,000 of furniture in the last year this year we have sold one of the furniture uh, as it is a full year policy in a full year policy we charge full year depreciation for assets that we have bought and we don't charge any depreciation for assets that we have sold okay so this means we are going to charge depreciation on 14,000 only and 10 percent of 14,000 straight line would be 1400 this year okay so previously we have depreciation of 5000 this year we are uh, going to further depreciate it by 1400 now the total would become 6400 now my dear students as you can see we have sold one of the furniture uh, that originally costed us 1000 now what we need to do we need to deduct the total depreciation as well why because if we have sold one of the asset we need to remove it from the cost account and we need to remove it from the provision account as well now as you can see there is a working here given the furniture that we have sold originally cost us 1000 and we have used it for two years that is for 200 and the book value is 8, 800 and we have sold it for 550 and we have uh, being uh, incurred a loss okay so here uh, the total depreciation or the total number of years that we have used the asset is for two years so the total depreciation is 200 so we need to deduct this 200 as well okay you must remember whenever we sell the asset so the original cost of the asset that we have disposed of need to be uh, removed from the cost account and the total provision of the asset that we have sold also need to be removed from the provision account okay so the uh, the provision account balance cd is basically 6200 in a balance sheet we always write balance cd okay so the 6200 provision would needs to be deducted from the original cost then we are left with a what a net book value that is 7800 net book value is 7800 so this is basically uh, how we make a extract for statement of financial position and income statement